Greetings, boys, girls, and gender rebels. I'm Penny Underbust, and today I'm going to teach you how to imperfect your face. Imperfect? Did you hear that correctly? Yes, you did. You'll understand what I mean as this 2D tutorial goes on. I start by doing my brows. I use my Zoeva 317 Wing Liner, which is my favorite brush, and some Granite Dip Brow Pomade from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Do you need these exact products? Heck no. Use whatever works for you. The way I do my brows is I draw a line above and below and then fill it in. Let your natural brows make up the start of the brow though. Feel free to add some color with mascara or whatever, but don't block the start of your brow. You want it to look a little wild. Next step, and the most important for this entire look, is getting a really good blush for your complexion. You can use any blush at all, just make sure it's one that looks very much like your natural flush. I am using the Naked Flushed by Urban Decay. The blush in this palette is absolutely perfect for me. I use my fingers for this. If you do too, go wash your hands. They are covered in bacteria that you don't want near your eyes. If you want to use a brush, do that too, but I prefer using my fingers for this particular look. I heap a ton of the product onto my eyelids and barely blend it at all. You want a fairly thick coating. I think this makes my eyes look significantly larger than they are, almost due to looking like swollen or other much more pleasant words that I can't think of right now. Using the exact same blush, I put a pretty heavy layer on my nose and cheeks. This is to simulate a targeted sunburn. Why do I do this? Well, I have pretty uneven skin color. I have red shoulders, red marks on my chest and milk mounds. I have moles, freckles, stretch marks and blotches everywhere. People love commenting on that when I wear foundation in my videos. So doing this is sort of adding that blotchy imperfection onto my face. It basically just makes it more uneven everywhere. I also think it makes me look kind of scrappy, like a rough tough tomboy who's still wearing a full face of makeup. <laughs> I also add a dab of the blush to the tips of my ears. Once again, continuing that sun-kissed vibe. If you want, you can also add a light blush to your shoulders. I do sometimes and think it looks pretty cute. Blah blah add mascara. Now, continuing our imperfections, grab a tiny brush and some brown eyebrow pomade. I'm using black. Black will never look as good, but I don't own brown. So do as I say, not as I do. I stipple little freckles all over my face in the same places as the blush. You want to be super light-handed at this. Don't go overboard. I already have freckles, so I'm really just filling in areas and making it look more like a layer of them rather than random face spots. If you don't have freckles or don't want them, don't do this step. Finally, I grab my Ben Nye Neutral Set Powder that I have in an old Tarte palette for ease of application, and I smother my face in it. This serves a few purposes. One, it adds an almost skin-like layer on top, which helps makes the freckles and blush look like it's part of you, rather than a layer on top. It also cuts back shine, which is totally mandatory for filming. If you make YouTube videos, even if you're a male-identifying type who wouldn't dream of makeup, get some powder and beat your face with it. You will look a world better. Trust me, this is standard practice for television.
Okay, so that's everything. This is a rather unconventional makeup tutorial, I get that. It looks like all I did was smear some pink stuff on my eyelids and nothing else at all, but I actually used quite a lot of products and tools. This may confuse some people, but like I said earlier on, I have uneven skin. I find that when I wear foundation, I feel more primped and polished than I like to look 99% of days. Yeah, foundation is amazing for dressing up or cosplays, but for me, I kind of like looking like a scrappy tough nut. It fits all of my scrapes and marks because it's who I am. I've never been embarrassed by these parts of myself, but online, I feel like people love pointing them out, like I somehow didn't know about them, or like it's a secret hate weapon that they manage to find. But when I wear my makeup like this, I feel like not only am I embracing my imperfections, but I'm directly spitting in the faces of those who would try to use them as a weapon. Should you do this tutorial? I don't know, because this isn't exactly a conventional makeup look, and I think it requires a certain headspace to even want to do, let alone do. But I love it, and it's become my standard face that I've put on almost every day for the last two weeks. Embrace your imperfections, bunnies, and never be afraid of the skin you're in, because it's the only skin you'll ever get. From the bottom of my little black heart, thank you for watching. Bye! Now.